Hi, this is Mike here, Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and for some of you who've been with the channel a long time, you'll know about my ongoing problems with the Elgato Stream Deck. So, hopefully this time around we're going to fix, finally, the problem where you press the keys for the YouTube comments, and basically it doesn't work. You get the yellow triangle exclamation mark, which basically means there's a fault, or it just can't work. So I'll show you what that looks like now, if you've not seen it already, then... Yeah, this is what you're looking for. So there is a uh, significant problem with the Elgato software and the way that the YouTube Connect works. And finally, after some time and deliberation with the guys over at Elgato Technical Support, seem to have come to a, uh, a good way of fixing this. At least it seems to have worked. I've done numerous reboots on my other computer using a s other Stream Deck and it has survived numerous restarts and numerous shutdowns. So hopefully if you're suffering with this where it keeps on asking you to reconnect every single time or you're getting the yellow exclamation mark, this should fix the problem. So there's a few things we're gonna to need to do. If you want to do a backup of your existing setup, i.e. your key layouts, etc., then feel free to do that if you want to. Click on the section here, edit profiles, and then this section here, and you can choose export and just export it to somewhere handy. So I'm gonna do it to the desktop. And also if you want to, from there, you can also create a backup or so create a backup. We can do that or we'll do that to the same place. So there we go. There are our settings backed up. So if we look into accounts here, you can see at this section here, it should have had the YouTube account. So you go through normally, put in your details and you link your Elgato with YouTube. And for some reason, pretty much every time the system reboots or is turned off, it loses that connection. It's a real pain in the backside. So let's uh, let's get it fixed. So what we wanna do first of all is to close down all of the open windows. We wanna close down Stream Deck in its entirety. So in order to do that, find the icon here down in the taskbar right click on it and choose quit stream deck you'll get the thing here saying are you sure you want to yes we definitely do so that is now closed now the next part of this is going to be to actually remove physically the files from the hard drive but also we're going to move some from the registry as well so if you go to the start flag click on settings go into apps and then installed apps and then scroll down until you find elgato I'll go to Stream Deck, here we are, so you can choose to uninstall and uninstall. And you'll get the user account control, click on yes, let it go through and remove Elgato Stream Deck. Awesome, that's gone, so we can now close this window. Now some remnants will still survive, so what we want to do is to go down to the search box here and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. This will take you to your user profile and app data. And what we want to do is you've got the Elgato folder. If you look inside, there are still a bunch of folders and files in here. So easiest way to get rid of this is to just remove the entire Elgato folder. You can, if you've got other Elgato products installed, just remove the Steam Deck folder. Uh, choice is entirely up to you. Actually, I will. I'll just remove the Steam Deck folder. That's probably going to be the easier way of doing it. So that is the software removed and hopefully most of the traces of files removed, but there's also something else we need to do. We need to go into the registry and remove some registry entries there. So in order to enter the registry, type in regedit or start typing it and you can find your registry editor. Again, you'll get user account control, so click yes. And as you can see, I've already been here. So you wanna to go to HKEY current user, software, Elgato Systems GmbH, and then the Stream Deck folder. As you can see down here, so Elgato Systems, and you've got the Stream Deck folder. Now the bit that normally goes wrong on here is a couple of these keys in here, which often will go wrong. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is to literally just remove the Stream Deck folder. So highlight it all, click on delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Yes, we are. And there we go. So that is basically it removed. So once we're done, we can close that down. And now what we need to do is to basically reinstall the software. So if you head over to the elgato.com website and go to the download section, 
we find the Stream Deck software version currently 6.7.3. Uh, we're on Windows, so we're going to download the Windows version. And you can get other versions as well. So click on Download, and it'll ask you to register, etc. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. Just click on Continue and choose a location to save it to. So I'm going to save it to our Windows desktop, and it shouldn't take very long. There we go. That is done. So uh, we can close or minimize this. The choice is entirely up to you. So now we are going to have our installation file here. There's our installer, so we'll double click on that and we'll choose next. Read and digest the user agreement. Uh, you basically don't have a choice, so if you want to use your Stream Deck, you've got to accept it. Click next and then you can, if you want to, change the program location. I would probably advise keeping it as it is. The choice is entirely up to you. Click on next and next again and you'll get user account control. Click on yes. Basically go through the rest of the installation process. Once it's done, it'll come up and say that it's completed. So we can click on finish there. And now we can go back and we've got our Stream Deck. So it goes back to the default configuration because uh, we're not signed in or anything. So probably a good idea to do that. Or you can just go and recover your settings. So if we click on the cogwheel, click on profiles, and then we'll click on the down arrow, and then we'll choose import and go back to our location where we saved our file. Of course, if you want to, you can just start from scratch and uh, yeah, do all your stuff and start over. Choice is entirely up to you. And also, we're going to need to install our plugins as well. You have to allow it to manage your YouTube account and then click on Continue. And then it should say YouTube account added. Continue to Stream Deck. So we go back to our Stream Deck. And if we go back into the settings, cog go into accounts, we can now see that Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To is now populated and back in. So now if we press the buttons on the Stream Deck, we should get our messages and it picks up basically all the stuff. You can choose which live stream, so I normally choose latest. So this will activate text whilst you're in a stream. But yeah, if you're getting it so that when you click on these, it doesn't show any text here, then chances are you're having the same problem where the Elgato communicator or connector isn't linking up with your YouTube account correctly. So that is pretty much it. That is how to rectify the YouTube connector problem on your Elgato Stream Deck. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, try smashing that like button. You never know, you might like it. And uh, if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.